Hello and welcome to another video on quadratic sequences. And in the previous couple of videos, we looked at the method of finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence. And that involved firstly finding the first difference between each term, and then finding the second difference. Or you could think about this as the difference between the differences. And we know that with quadratic sequences, the second difference should always be the same. I then said that whatever the second difference actually is, we always divide it by 2 and put it as the coefficient in front of our n squared term to start our sequence off. So in this video, we're going to look at why we always divide the second difference by 2 to find a, or the coefficient in front of our n squared term. So I'm going to start off by looking at a linear sequence, which is always in this form, and then hopefully that will just give you an idea and a basis for when we move on to quadratic sequences, which are always in this form here. So if we think about the first term of our sequence, when n equals 1, we're just going to have a times 1 plus b, or just a plus b. So that is the first term of our sequence. The second term is just going to be a times 2 plus b, which is just 2a plus b. And the third term of our sequence is just going to be 3a plus b. So now let's find the difference between these terms. So to go from a plus b to 2a plus b, we're just adding on a. And likewise, to go from 2a plus b to 3a plus b, again, we're just on adding on a. So you can see that this the first difference is just a, which is just this number here. It's always the coefficient in front of n. So if the first difference was, say, 3, we know that it's going to be 3n. If the first difference was 10, it's going to be 10n. If the first difference was a half, it's going to be a half n. So all we're doing is just substituting this number in front of n. Now let's look at a quadratic sequence and do the same thing. So our first term in our sequence will be when n equals 1. So we're just replacing n with 1. So we're just going to have a plus b plus c. So a plus b plus c. That's our first term. Our second term will be when n equals 2. So 2 squared is 4. So it's going to be 4a plus 2b plus c. So 4a plus 2b plus c. Our third term is going to be when n equals 3, so we're going to have 3 squared, which is 9, so it's going to be 9a plus 3b plus c. So 9a plus 3b plus c, and I'll do one more. Our fourth term is, well, 4 squared is 16, so it's going to be 16a plus 4b plus c. So those are our first four terms of our quadratic sequence. Now let's find the first difference. So what is the difference between this term and this term? Well, we're adding on three a's and also we're adding on a b as well. So it's 3a plus b. We've got c here and c here, so we don't need to add on any more c's. So that's the first difference between the first two terms. Now let's do the second and third terms. So we're adding on five a's plus a b. And then between the third and the fourth term, we're adding on seven a's plus a b. So now let's find the second difference. So what is the difference between the differences here? Well, we can see that we're adding on 2a, no more, no more b's. And here we're also adding on 2a. So the second difference is 2a. Now let's just pause and think about what we've just found out. So if you think about the linear sequence, our difference was a, and that is just the coefficient in front of n. So we're just substituting a into here. Now if we look at our quadratic sequence, we can see that the second difference is 2a. Now we can't just substitute 2a into here because we have 2a n squared. In order to get a n squared, what do we do? Well, we're going to have to divide by 2. If we divide this by 2, if we divide this by 2, we're just going to be left with a, and then we can substitute it into our nth term. So that is why we always divide by 2, is because the second difference between terms will always be 2a. So in order to just get a, we have to divide by 2. So hopefully this video gave you a bit more of an intuition and an understanding of why we divide the second difference by 2 to find a in our quadratic sequence. Because it's always nice to understand the bones around the maths and not just to take it at face value and just run with it willy-nilly. So hopefully you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.